It's 8.52. It's half term for most children in England and Wales. So relief for some parents, no homeschooling. Great. But lots of time to fill and lots of parents working from home, not necessarily able to give over time to children and keep them occupied. So we thought it would be useful to get some advice on how we can make it work for parents and for children. We have the child psychologist Laverne Antrobus and the parenting author Ayla Preston. Morning, both of you. Morning. Thank you for being with us today. First of all, then, uh, Lauren, uh, sorry, Laverne, I'm so sorry. It's, I think, in general, strange at the moment when the rhythm of life is so disrupted. How important is it that there is really quite a distinction between, OK, here's your school day, even though it feels and looks very different. Now, here's the half term break, Laverne. I think it's really important. I mean, you know, half term is often the time that parents and children sort of just about get to the end of the half term and think we're here. So I think even though we're in lockdown, it's really important to mark that out quite differently. Put those school books away, no talk of work or anything like that. And I think it's a chance to sort of reset and reboot everybody's system at home to be able to spend some time together, just doing the things that we enjoy. So if children are disappearing off to their rooms and wanting some time alone, I think that's absolutely OK. The job of parents is to sort of bring everybody together at different times during the day, during meal times, perhaps choosing a film to watch together, but really making sure that we're having a break because that's what we'd normally be doing. OK, this is useful to hear because I think from my point of view, other parents might feel like this. We spend quite a lot of time nagging at the moment, don't we? Do this, sit there, make sure you've got this piece of work done and so on. So actually to say, OK, if you want to disappear on your screens for a couple of hours on your own in your room, that's actually OK. That's what I think, because, you know, screens, we've had this worry about screens, haven't we, over the years? But actually, screens have become even more important. And children are going to begin to le learn the distinction between them. Screen time for homeschooling, but also screen time for having fun. It's probably going to be one of the main ways that children stay in touch with each other, particularly teenagers. So I think as parents, it's a bit of time off and relaxing. And actually, the message I'd want to get is it's time off for parents as well, who perhaps have been really, well, not perhaps they have been, juggling so many plates, spinning plates, trying to homeschool, do work for themselves. So this is time off for everybody. I think the main thing is to reconnect at this time, because the one message that I think is really important coming out of this pandemic is that your relationship with your children is still intact. Yeah, but that's great. You can reconnect at points through the day. You don't have to be all in each other's company all of the time. I can certainly get my head around that. Layla, as a professional parent, if you like, I don't know any parent that doesn't feel a bit guilty at the moment about the amount of time kids are spending on screens. Have you got any easy hacks to try and persuade them off them? Uh, yes, actually, I totally agree with Laverne as well. 100% um, agree that they need to have their own time and go off and do the thing. And we have a break from homeschooling, which I'm really happy about. Um, but yes, uh, I do have some hacks. Been It's taken about a year of trial and error. Uh, but we found that the best thing for us to do is manage our time in blocks. So what we do is we start the morning with outdoor play. And then we, uh, the second part of the morning would be engaged play. And then after that would be creative play and then screen time play. So what that means is um, step outside at the very beginning of the part, the very first part of the day. And what that does, it sort of just resets the body and um, creates that real, you know, tackle for the day. And in fact, when you step outside for the very first part of the day, your productivity actually increases by up to 70% for both parents and children. And I also found that getting up earlier than the kids, so I'm not catch, you know, I'm not catching up with my work and not behind everything, sort of makes me feel more productive as well. So we all do that together, and then we go out, then we come back inside. Uh, if we haven't had breakfast, we'll have breakfast then, and and then I give them some 100% undivided attention, up to an hour. It doesn't really matter what it is. It could be they could choose the the, the game or the story or whatever they want to do but it's undivided attention so no phones no emails no work nothing and then what I find things happens um is I was doing an article about it actually uh it it sort of creates it increases their dopamine levels their feel-good chemicals and it makes them go off and, and they're more satisfied to do things by themselves so I actually found that doing that 
with affords me a pocket where I can work while the kids are up. But I mean, all, that's work. all well and good, Layla. But it's no if you have to yeah. be at a Zoom meeting at nine o'clock in the morning, or indeed if you've got to go out to yeah. work actually, and you're leaving slightly older children at home on their own, that's a luxury yeah. many people just can't, you know, get access to. Yes. Well, I'm very lucky because I could, I work my own hours. So for me, this is what works. Uh, I, I completely understand. I have a couple of friends with three kids who are working and Zoom meetings. I don't know how they do it. Yeah. Uh, I, it's high pressure but for me this works because I have my own hours and you know having said that I set all my deadlines the week that school shut down so I had to wake up at 4 30 every morning to finish those deadlines so oh my goodness all that different, yeah it was just <laughs> the worst timing in the world <laughs> that is next but, level um, organization amazing yeah, so really Laverne hard. finally just a very brief word from you how do parents carers feel a little bit better about themselves very quickly And I think, I think we've got the parents have got to see this. Well, I'm so sorry that we missed that from Laverne. I mean, if I can say from me, just well done. We made it through to half term. That's excellent. Uh, Charlie and Louise will be here from six o'clock tomorrow. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Enjoy Valentine's.